Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Tech Tuesday and today we're going to be reviewing this. This is the Rode Wireless Go. It's an affordable wireless microphone. To test the quality of this audio, I'm going to be filming this whole episode through this. This is going through here into a Lavia microphone that came in the kit with the Rode Wireless Go and then straight into the camera. So we're going to start off with the price of this thing. This thing comes in at around 280 Australian dollars. That is pretty good for a full lavier microphone. And despite its price, it's actually pretty good. Now I've had this unit for around two months and I actually really like it. I think the convenience is definitely worth the price. And it's something that I bring to all my shoots because before this I'd use a boom mic or a camera mounted microphone. And the convenience of having, you know, clipping up your actor or the person speaking and then just, just letting the tech do what it does is, is, is definitely worth it for me. For quality purposes, I'm going to be doing a audio comparison between the Rode video mic, the unit with the lapel microphone and a Zoom H4n, which won't actually use the Rode microphone. And that way we can actually compare it to normal broadcast standards. This right here is an audio comparison, not using the Rode Wireless, we're using a Rode NTG4 for audio comparison. This is an audio test using the Rode Wireless Go inbuilt microphone. This is an audio test with the Rode VideoMic Pro and the Rode Wireless Go system. And this is a test using the Rode Wireless Go unit plus a lapel microphone that came with the kit. The transmitter and the receiver both have inbuilt batteries that last about seven hours. They both charge by USB-C. The box comes with two dead cat suits that you clip onto the microphone unit. Um, you can use these, I choose not to, they're not very well built and I'm not in situations where there's lots of wind most of the time. Now both units also have a clip, so the receiver has a clip that you can actually clip onto the hot shoe mount of the camera to make sure that when you're wiring it up to the camera, it has somewhere to sit. On the other side as well, the transmitter has a clip as well. This is normally used for clipping it to the pants when you've got a lavia mic hooking up to the microphone. Or if you're gonna be using the transmitter by itself, you can also just clip it onto your shirt. Something I actually really like about the receiver unit is it comes with an LCD screen that shows the decibel reading. These microphones around here normally don't have that and you'd normally be relying on what comes through on the camera, which you can't see. The unit has a button that you can use to control the decibel sensitivity, um, high, low, and medium. I tend to leave it on low, and even on low, I still find I need to turn down the sensitivity on my camera to make sure that there's no clipping in the audio. Now, of course, in a wireless system, you wanna make sure that the wireless range is enough for what you're doing. So we're gonna go out now to a field and test what the range is like. This is an audio test. I'm now walking away, turning around, walking away. We're no longer facing the camera and no cuts or interruptions. Hopefully there's no cars going by either when I'm crossing the road, but essentially we're gonna test how far this thing can go till it actually cuts out. Do I need to be in line of sight? I'm not sure as we come down this driveway. I get from the camera, but I'm facing the camera now. If that makes any difference, and our roads flip up the camera, up almost at the camera, and hopefully all this time you'll still be able to hear me. And yep, that is the distance test of the Rode wireless microphone. So when it comes down to it, would I recommend this camera? And to me, the answer is yes. If you're in the beginner level up to maybe even advanced, but you're not you don't need that broadcast quality, huge amounts of equipment, and you want the small files, easy editing, then I definitely recommend this for convenience. So I'd say if you're looking for convenience and have a bit of a smaller budget, I'd definitely look into getting one of these. This has been Blink Productions. I'm Nicholas Grant, and I'll see you guys next time.